Hi everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you're new here, I would like to say hi and welcome you. Today's video is just going to be a little bit different. It's still a DIY, but basically it's just things that I've taken from my refrigerator and cupboards that I would have probably thrown away or recycled anyway. So this is a way to save money and also I guess help the planet and repurpose or recycle some items into beautiful home decor. So if you're interested in seeing that, please keep watching. So the first bottle I'm using is one that had uh, flavored honey in it. And I just cleaned it out and now I'm going to go back old school and use a little bit of puffy paint and put dots all around it. And you can put as many or as few as you want. And then after those are completely dry, we're going to take it outside and spray paint it. I used a um, glossy white and it needed a couple coats. I sprayed the rest off camera because the wind was blowing towards the camera and the spray paint was actually getting on the lens. And this one was fairly simple. That's all we need to do. Now just let it dry. This next one is just as simple as the first. All you do is wash up the bottle. And then I took a piece of scrap fabric that I had and these iron-on letters that I've had for years now and applied them like the directions said just by ironing them on. I chose to put the word love on there. And then I Cut the fabric a little bit skinnier, that way it would fit lengthwise on the bottle. And I started fraying the edges just by pulling the, the little strings that were hanging out. And it just kind of gives it a little bit of a fringe look. And then I sprayed the back of the fabric with adhesive spray. I thought that would work best on this project and then just applied it to the bottle. This next jar, it had artichoke hearts in it, and I just washed it up, applied a little bit of chalkboard paint because I wanted more of a matte black finish. I did two coats on this, and that was it for this one. This next one is a um, basil tin, and it's just like what you get your herbs and spices in. And I took the top off. It took a little bit of prying, but I finally got the plastic piece off. And for this one, we're just going to take some Mod Podge and apply it to the tin. And use whatever fabric you have, or you could paint it, whatever look you're going for. Then just apply the fabric and then I used a little bit of hot glue on the inside just to keep down the edges. It doesn't need to be perfect on the inside. And then I applied a little bit of Mod Podge on the outside. And I thought this would be perfect to use with like toothpicks or bobby pins or anything small like that that you need to keep contained and organized. This next one took a little bit longer. I 
thought I knew what I wanted to do, but then turned out I didn't like it. So I first painted it with a little bit of white chalk paint, and then I added some of the um, rope to it on the top. I liked this more neutral color. I thought it was pretty. And then I decided I didn't like the white, so I soaked it fairly quickly just before it had a chance to harden and dry on there. And then I used a toothbrush to get all the white off. And then I decided to go with pink. And this is the chalk paint as well. I just added a little bit of red to it. And then I wanted a little bit of the jute rope on the bottom. And I think it's really cute. So I thought it would be fun to show you how simple and easy it is to turn these everyday kitchen items into really pretty home decor that's, that can be personalized and you don't have to spend a lot of money. I would love to hear in the comments below what kinds of things you guys have repurposed or recycled from everyday items into home decor. I hope you guys like this one and have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.